Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah. I wanted to give you a pastor's update. This is September the 12th, and I wanted to let y'all know why I wouldn't be at church on September the 13th. That's tomorrow, Sunday. I won't be there because I've been exposed to COVID along with my family. Uh, we had a credible exposure on Labor Day. We just found out late last night and I wanted to let y'all know so you weren't worrying about us tomorrow when you didn't see us, you weren't uh, um, uh, over scared or anything like that. Currently, our family is not sick. Uh, we're not experiencing any symptoms whatsoever uh, and we have sought to be diligently safe as we have done the usual life things that we do this past week. God is so good to help give us a way forward, and that's what I've been trying to help us to see and help y'all to see as we even uh, prepare our hearts and our minds for worship tomorrow, still physically gathering. That's why we've been putting on those masks, not to save ourselves, but to preserve the lives of others. That's why I've been doing it from the pulpit, why our singers have been doing it in the choir loft. That is why we've been doing these things. And it's not just some crazy opinion, it's a Bible opinion, one that helps us to keep safe and to know why we should do that. And I wanna just read that for you very quickly right now. It's just a few words from Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. It's the sixth commandment of the Ten Commandments. You shall not murder. A lot of times when we think about the commandments, we think they're just cut and dry. Don't murder. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you know, I'll put away my guns and my knives or something like that. But uh, there is deep uh, and, and uh, uh, massive tendrils coming off of each commandment. And one way to see that is by the positive and the negative. And so if God tells us that we shouldn't take life unduly, uh, that means then that we should seek to preserve life. That's what your session has done at Centennial. That's what I have sought to do as your minister. And that's why I won't be there tomorrow. Uh, it's not simply because the government's telling me to do something. It's not simply because uh, I want to stay home or something like that. It's because I want to listen and obey the God of the universe, that I might preserve life if I get a chance. And this time, because of the credible exposure, I want to make sure that I am keeping all of you safe. I'm going to miss you tomorrow. I am going to be worshiping with you uh, via the live stream with my family. We might try to take a picture or something, but again, rest assured, I am okay. And right now my family is okay too. We'll let you know if that changes, but uh, we are confident and our hope is in the Lord that we have sought to do the right things and that God will bless us as we continue forward seeking to glorify his name. Centennial, whether you are at home worshiping like I will be tomorrow, or whether you are safely preserving life worshiping together uh, in, at 1413 Laurel Street in our sanctuary, wherever it is that you are worshiping the Lord tomorrow, do so in spirit and in truth. God bless you and stay safe.